Okay, students, so now we are going to start a snap interview of our student Muhammad and Mujammil Ansari. And this snap is for instrumentation and measurement. Uh, so you are preparing for which PSU? Sir, HPCL. HPCL, okay. So Mujammil, uh, first of all, tell me uh, what is industrial automation? Industrial automation means uh, uh, in our uh, in our uh, like in our day to day life, uh, whichever we are getting in our home or uh, something. In case of industry, when uh, in this era there is a, a wave of automation coming. Like uh, in industry, if we uh, we can we want to describe about the industrial automation means everything in the industry you know whichever right. industry you are talking mm -hmm. about that should be automated like in uh, in terms of like uh, PLCs uh, SCADA in some industries are introduced there nowadays in electronics in industries like they are using Arduino software like this IoT is also coming and artificial intelligence is also coming nowadays so these are all about the automation uh, which are uh, nowadays going on and these are uh, preferable now in the so industry what are the advantage why we are going into industrial automation side what are the advantage <clears throat> yes the advantage is the uh, sir uh, we need a uh, lesser number of uh, handmade workers like uh, we don't need our uh, mechanical uh, strength or uh, strength by persons. We can automate it. It will uh, send us some message. Then uh, we can go and see whichever technical issues is there or not, or something is going bad or wrong. So we can easily uh, rectify those problems with uh, automation systems. Okay. And what are the disadvantages? So, uh, disadvantages <laughs> like. Uh, so I'm uh, not sure about the disadvantages. Actually, you have not read. Uh, think about any disadvantage. Yeah, there, there, there are uh, advantages. So there must be some disadvantages also. Uh, but uh, right now I cannot recall these things. Actually. Okay. So what is the importance of robotics in uh, oil sector or refineries? Sir, importance of robotics nowadays it's become uh, very much uh, actually the uh, this is totally we are going in in an era where uh, robotics is uh, advancing very much. Like uh, suppose I want to uh, have some process, so we don't need any uh, man there, so we can use uh, <coughs> robots there. Like. Robots uh, doesn't mean everything all about the uh, robot like a man or a human. Okay, robots can be any machines which can ease our work. Okay, can you tell me the name of some field instruments? Field instruments, yes, sir. Uh, like uh, field instruments, uh, there are uh, very okay, sir. Pressure gauge like strain gauge is there. Okay, the temperature sensors like uh, RTD, uh, thermistor, thermocouples are there. Uh, uh, in uh, level okay. measurement. Uh, PLC, PLC is hardware or software? So PLC is a uh, PLC basically is a hardware which can be run by a software. Okay, so which software uh, run this PLC? There are many software like uh, RX logic is there, uh, ladder logic is there. So these okay, are the SCADA. SCADA is a uh, sir combination of the PLCs and all the controllers and DCS systems. Like uh, in SCADA, actually, what we do, we use okay, to tell me the full form of SCADA. SCADA, full form of SCADA is super, uh, supervisory control and uh, data acquisition. Data acquisition? Yes. Uh, system also or only data acquisition? Yes, uh, sorry sir, data acquisition system. Okay. Okay, now tell me, do you know we have some uh, characteristics of different instruments? So we have static characteristics, dynamic characteristics, you know? Yes. A little what, are static, 
what are static characteristics of instruments sir uh like uh static uh, uh, static characteristics means sir uh, like uh, uh time constant is there uh, sensitivity is there uh yes uh, i cannot recall this uh, no idea uh, no sir i have read but i i cannot recall it till i don't okay. remember so no no idea about dynamic characteristics also so dynamic characteristics i think uh, linearity is the dynam uh, dynamic characteristics one uh, hysteresis is also hysteresis of some uh, sensors or instruments are the dynamic characteristics i think so okay and do you know types of drift we have different types of drift no sir i don't no sir no I think uh, zero drift like things uh, that thing you were talking. Zero yeah. drift is one. Okay. Uh, no, so actually, I don't have any idea about this drift. I just heard that name. Just uh, okay. I don't know uh, what is zero drift of something. So when we talk about different analog instruments, okay, we use some operating forces. Generally, three operating forces are there. Okay, analog. Yes. Yeah, in analog instruments for the satisfactory operation of mm -hmm. any indicating instrument, we have three operating forces. So tell yes. me the names of them. Uh, first one is uh, one is controlling torque. Mm -hmm. TD. Uh, one is uh, dynamic torque. Dynamic. Dynamic. So tau D, tau C, and one is. Uh, Controlling uh, dynamic. Another one is sir. Uh, I cannot recall this one, sir. No idea. Uh, no, sir. I have the idea, but uh, I'm. Uh, I cannot recall this just now. Okay. Can you tell me about different types of support? Support means. Uh, I am not getting. Instruments we use different type of supports also, na? Uh, like uh, which type? Suspension. Yes, suspension is there. Yeah, so any other thing? Suspension. Uh, support means it can be like uh, tension is also there. No? Suspension and tension is uh, both same, right? Uh, no idea. You are not having any idea, right? Mm -hmm. hmm? No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> So tell me about uh, active transducer. What do you understand by active transducer? Sir, active transducers are the transducers which do not require any external energy source to operate. Example? Example is a uh, thermocouple is there. Uh, <laughs> a piezoelectric, uh, piezoelectric crystals are there. Uh, yes, sir. These two strain I gauge is active or passive? Passive, sir. Because we have to uh, give some uh, pressure or force like things so that it can uh, sense it and then according to the change in the length and the dimensions, we can uh, get the output. Okay. So, in suppose we are we interested in measuring some high temperature. Okay. Very high range temperature, mm -hmm. 2000 degrees Celsius. Uh, okay, so mm -hmm. what are the options available? How do we measure? Sir, uh, we can measure it through the thermocouple. Thermocouple, like, uh, high yes. temperature can measure 2000, 3000, this range. Yes, sir. Uh, there is a uh, thermocouple like. Uh, we have furnaces. Yes, At many plants, we have furnace. Hmm. So, so how sir, do we measure the temperature? Uh, we can use uh, we can use the RTD with a long uh, bridge circuit, no, sir. But mm -hmm. RTD, uh, RTD with a uh, bridge circuits. Okay, then what is the use of optical pyrometer? 
yes sir optical parameter also we can use <laughs> and uh, sir a uh, hot wire anemometer uh, can use uh, temperature or not <coughs> it it uh, generally measures the flow but uh, mm -hmm. but can Mainly we use, use uh, temperature also no we use flow only mainly okay 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 yes so and yes sir. optical parameter obviously we use it for very high temperature yeah and what about bridges so do you have any knowledge of bridges yes sir hmm? yes sir ac bridges uh, yes, I don't uh, recall all the circuits now, but I uh, I have idea about this. Okay, so in AC bridges, tell me what are the commonly used detectors? So detectors can be used <coughs> like uh, uh, galvanometer. We can use there. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can use the emitter also, but that should be. I think uh, it can be. Uh, no, sir, we, we will not use emitter. You can uh, use the galvanometer. Okay. Define relative humidity. Okay, sir. So relative humidity is uh, the ratio of the humidity of air to the ratio of the uh, uh, material we are uh, measuring. So in numerator, what we keep? Air or material? Material, sir. <coughs> but you, you told different things right now? No, sir. I, I uh, told you the ratio of uh, humidity of air to the material. So air to the material means air in the numerator? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes, hmm? sir. Yes, sir. I just... Uh, yes, sir. Air in the numerator. Air upper rayga niche rayga formula mein. Yes, a vacuum and air will be in the uh, numerator. Numerator kya hota hai? Upper ya niche? Upper. So air upper rakte hain abhi. Uh, relative. Yeah. Yes, sir. I think so. Ya niche rakte hain relative mein to kiske relative mein? Air ke to relative mein measure karenge. Air के relative में ही measure करेंगे तो सर air air तो नीचे नहीं रहना चाहिए नहीं सर चलो अभी तैयारी करो अच्छे तरीके से एक बार जी सर ठीक है पढ़ो थोड़ा अच्छे तरीके से वापस आ रहा